Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and we are coming to you from the coast of North Carolina, and we are at Mary's Gone Wild. Wait till you check this place out. <laughs> Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. Celebrating 43 years, and Mary is actually here. I just met her. So it's a doll museum and way, way more. You can see there's a jailhouse made of bottles, ship wheel, records, there's a little bit of everything. So when you come in, you'll notice they're just building after building and pretty much everything's for sale. <laughs> if you want it, you can buy it. And like I said, there's just building after building. There's art all over the place and they just ask if you don't end up buying anything just to please leave a donation. Look at this. It's like a freaking big tree house. And that one connects over to there. And this one you can actually take that up the ramp over there, all the way around. I don't know how structurally safe it is, but uh, very interesting. Now if you look down here, this whole bottom part of the house is made from bottles. Look at that happy bowling ball. This is fun. You know what I would akin this to? It's uh, it's kind of like the real life Pippi Longstocking's house, almost. Or like what you would uh, imagine Pippi would have grown up to have. There's like old Dr. Pepper bottles up in there. So yeah, you can actually drive your car and park it back there. There's a whole world back there. You can tell she's religious. She's got a big cross up here. I'm gonna walk around because I noticed some of the buildings, look, she even put stained glass. Some of the buildings are themed. Like, look at this. I am definitely gonna leave her a nice donation for all of us. Look. Somebody left their baby. It's like a little church. This, wow. Here's the crazy thing. She has so many donation boxes all over the property. I almost think it's not even about the donation. I don't know how you can rem remember to go check all of them. Look at this insane staircase that she created. Or, yeah, I guess she probably would have created that. I was gonna say maybe it was donated and she attached it. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. That's like Thomas the Tank. Look at that. I love the, the artwork that she's created. There's lots of these kind of mermaid type things all over the property. Lots of bottles hanging. How neat is this place? Just from what we've seen so far. Wow. I think it's technically Holden Beach. Yeah, no offense to her. I just, uh, I don't want to go crawling around up on this just because I don't, you know, I don't know who built it. Toys. Oh, trains. That makes sense. This was the train house. 
All right, let me take you into the bulk of the property. We haven't even gotten to that yet. The main part of the antique store. Although, you can walk through this, so we probably should. See, the main house does have a full-on antique store. And this is truly the kind of place you, you have no idea what the heck you could find. She very well may have Jimmy Hoffa here. She's got Bert and Ernie. Hi, Santa. Oh, no, that's cool. <laughs> I, I, I dig the pup rock. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, there's just, there's stuff everywhere. And all the way back. So this takes us into the next main building. This is where I met her. She's kind of walking around the property, so. It's called Mary's Gone Wild. She seems like a real sweet, nice lady. And she's been doing it for 43 years. She's definitely dedicated. Oh, neat. Oh, neat. I'm gonna have to talk over the uh, copyrighted music, unfortunately, but man, she's got some beautiful artwork in here. Look at the floors. And she apparently, Hand paints guitars. These are great. Oh, you can see the other sides of the bottles in here from how she built the room. Look at the floor. Look at that seat. <laughs> and the, the uh, horse. Yeah, look at all the bottles. Wow, her artwork is beautiful. She's made all these glass. Painted all those. Little Mermaid. Looks like she even made this glass table. The wheelhouse. And then look, she even painted the ceiling. I don't know what the story with that chair is, but <laughs> it's great she's even listening to, sounds like faith-based music, so I bet she is one positive lady. And I'd love to know. Oh look, she's got a leg lamp. <laughs> uh, I wonder if she uh, gets famous visitors. Look, she painted the entire ceiling of this place. This is amazing. You've been on TV about 50 times, you said? Oh yeah. What inspired you to start this? The Lord. Really? It's a renovation. How so? Yeah, I was fixing to wash my dishes one day, and uh, one e one Saturday evening, and here comes this vision right down in front of my face. He showed me this picture. He was showing me in the vision exactly how to come out and layer the paint to do reverse side paintings. So I come out, I got the window, I got the paint, got the brush, painted the picture I was seeing in my head. My mother-in-law, my husband, was sitting on the front porch. They were laughing and making fun of me, saying, why weren't I doing something, going to turn something? I told them I was. And sure enough, that picture sold the next morning for town clock. Wow. <laughs> now, were you an artist before that? No. No, not no. at all. I never even thought about being an artist. No. Uh, wow. And then it just grew into an entire museum like what we've seen over and, oh, 40 years, huh? Over 40 well, years? It, it'll be 44 years to 20th of this month. 
March the 20th. Congratulations. Do you have any idea how many pieces of art you've sold in oh, your life? Thousands and thousands and thousands. Wow. I've done, uh, two shows with in Chicago. I've been in the full frame in uh, Durham, North Carolina. I was in the Kukulors Festival, film festival, that I've been in uh, the full frame in Durham, North Carolina for the art show. And, uh, and so it's, it's it's made us round. That's pretty great. <laughs> that is pretty great. They wrote the book about it, the song about it, magazines, newspapers. I don't know if you've seen those newspapers. Yeah, I did. You probably got people from all over the world here, all huh? All over the world. I've got pictures now in every state of the United States, plus Germany, England, France, Taiwan, Australia, Russia, China, <laughs> Japan, Finland, Switzerland, you know. Yeah. That's great. Anybody coming out to North Carolina, South Carolina, stop by Mary's Gone Wild. Why? Right. There you go. Really? You said you fed it's thousands and thousands of hungry children. With the money that you've made off yes. selling your art. And then, too, I helped the Jewish International for the Holocaust survivors. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much for all the contributions. And this year, I finally got it open. I got my doll baby and uh, toy museum back there finally open. That's great. I've got over 3,500 dolls in there. I've got cribs, cables, then I've got all kinds of water and toys that men love and brought it in a little model cars and yeah. die cast cars and things like that and jewelry and all kinds of things. <laughs> I'm Lori. Last night I texted a person to ask them, are they a shoes on, shoes off kind Look at of the app. ceiling. So she did party. a great job I'm on the ceiling. Her Go artwork prepared. is beautiful. Your Look at all the floors. See, she painted all the floors in every room. Does everybody else carry slippers in their market? She's got a little bit of her artwork for sale in every room. This one's $3.75. These are a little bit cheaper. These are $20. That's what we'll get. We'll buy one of these. We'll buy one of the mermaids for $20 bucks, since that seems to be her thing. Look at that. She's got another room of a different type of art in here. surfboard Look at the ceiling in here ceiling. Alright, Mary, I want bad hair day. Uh, I want bad hair day. Alright. Mr. <laughs> Moneybags will pay you. Okay. Can we get a picture together? Here. Yee! And we can hold, we can have bad hair day with us too. <laughs> I don't think we should face that way. way. Yeah, do it that way. Looks like she's working on some right now. Doing it in reverse. Same with over here. She's working on a mermaid right there. This is quite a place. She's literally making this stuff. And it just keeps going. Like, look at all this. She made all this stuff. And it just goes building after building. 
of beautiful art. Look at all this. People stopping off here ever since I got here, buying stuff, everybody's buying something. She signed it all. I admire this, I really do. You know, I was doing a vlog recently on Charles Kuralt, and I'm like, this is the kind of stuff that he made exciting to come see. It's like, hey, did you know about Mary who lives in between Wilmington and Myrtle Beach? And Mary's gone wild. She's an artist that's created this whole world. Look at all this Coca-Cola stuff. She's created a whole world where she can sell her art and display her art, make it fun for people to come visit. Like Betty Boop's inhabiting that house. There's a couple of them in there. And I love the style that she gave the houses. All of this stuff is for sale. And look, that whole house is made of bottles. There's the jail made of bottles. And if you need license plates, this would be the place. You gotta love the irony, huh? <laughs> I'm sure that was not an accident. She has a pretty good sense of humor come in the jail to buy your license plates but those are all models and some of her art one of the mermaids like I said that's that's why I'm gonna purchase some of her art that's the mermaid because going to wiki Wachi and then just knowing that seems to be her thing there's another bottle house over there we're walking through one here <laughs> A lot of them resemble churches. There's your piano. There's a big piece over there, kind of dusty. 1989. But I bet that's for sale. Her bench. The Lord's room. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. We gotta see how she decorated the outside of the house, right? All those are bottles. Yeah, Katie was really bummed that we didn't have time before she had to fly home to come here together because I told her about this place. I was like, I'm going to have to go to Mary's Gone Wild without you. I don't know if I can wait on this one. <laughs> and that's her Christmas tree. And then a bottle house up in there. And then that's the circular one that we saw. Now let's go buy some art from Mary. Also, I think she allows photo shoots because as you can imagine, people probably love to do that. And there's a full boat 
that you can use <laughs> for your fun picks. What a welcoming place, huh? She said people that come here say, if you ever close, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I said, I believe it. All right, this is what I want. Like I said, I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna get this. Now this was a blast, but I just showed you basically her art complex. She has a full toy museum, like she mentioned earlier in the video, that has like just tons of dolls and toys and everything like that. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that and come back in the future because I just think this lady is so cool. I would love to share her place again and come back and revisit her. Thank you everyone for watching. We will see you next time from Mary's Gone Wild. Have a great night and goodbye.